Welcome back, guys, to another movie review where we're going to be reviewing a universal monster movie called Creature from the Black Lagoon. This was like a groundbreaking movie. It's a cult classic, and I love it. Um, so let's get right into it. Before we can get right into it, on Letterboxd, I'm known as Flick a Pick, and that's all. So this movie is one of those universal monster movies that you sit for one hour and 19 minutes, and you're thinking, wow, this movie is great. Nobody can hate a Universal Monster movie except for the 1930 Mummy movie. This Creature from the Black Lagoon has multiple awesome camera effects. It has the camera going into the water, um, multiple scenes underwater. The, half of the movie, mostly all of the movie takes place underwater, and, half, and the rest of it takes place on land. But it's just great movie. The creature gets shot multiple times, but he still comes back for more. And it ends out in, hey, I, I want a part two to this. I want to see what happens to the creature. It's like a cliffhanger. And for a one hour and 19 minute movie, it is pretty short, but it tells you a lot about the creature. It doesn't go in depth of how the, well, it goes in, it doesn't go really in depth in how the creature was created, but it just puts a little bit of evolution, which I'm not for evolution, I believe that the earth was created in seven days. I'm not going to get too religious here. But um, it just, it kind of tells you how it was created over billions of years. It just spawned into a creature. But it, it's an awesome movie over, um, made in the 50s. And it's just, if you have not watched this, you need to sit down or go to your local Walmart. You can buy this for $5 at your local Walmart if they have it. Sit down, pop that disc in, and it'll only take one hour and 19 minutes. You watch it. And you comment down below on my video and tell me if you liked it or not. I know some people does not like watching old movies due to it's black and white. And it just drags on and it's very long. But this one doesn't drag on. It's not like a movie that you sit down and it drags on. Like The Mummy. The Mummy was short, but it dragged on the th this version of The Mummy. This one dragged on for so long. But yes, so I give The Creature from the Black Lagoon a 10 out of 10 for just how well the movie was um, achieved. And it, it's just awesome. So bye guys, stay tuned for more videos in the future. couldn't explain it, but there it was, alive in the deep, deep waters of the Amazon, a throwback to a creature that had existed a hundred million years ago, immensely strong and destructive. A woman's beauty, the bait that brought it out of its lair. See underwater thrills never photographed before. See titanic underwater battles never dreamed of before in this most terrifying of the science fiction adventures.